Hey, I forgot to mention this in the video, but if you aren't subscribed yet, please go subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'm sure a lot of you are coming from my last video about caves, so you should just subscribe. I'm gonna make some more things about rare accounts in Minecraft Bedrock, and possibly some things about names in Bedrock. But if you could subscribe, I would really appreciate it. I really want to get high YouTube ranks, so I would really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hey, so today in this video, I'm going to be showing you every single cave that has been in Minecraft Bedrock. Um, I'm going to have some footage in the background of, I guess, Hive, but there will also be some caves popping up on the screen. So, the first cave that I can ever... the So, the first cave on the list is the Founder's Cave, which is technically the Minecon Live 2019 cave. If you really do consider it, this is a Minecon cave. If you have it, you have a Minecon cave, in my opinion. This cape was distributed on the Minecraft Marketplace as a promotion for the character creator. So, if you watch Minecraft Live 2019, you probably got this cape. The cape is literally just a redesign of the 2014 Minecon cape. Honestly, what they probably did if they probably booted up Paint.net, went to Adjustments, and changed it to Yellow. Ne nevertheless, it's still a really cool cape, and I think the cape looks really cool. Next is the pancake. On the cape, it is a little nice pan pancake on a plate, I, I think. And the Lytra is a nice little pancake. So the actual legitimate way of getting in the game is by beta testing the game. But when the cape was first accidentally released from Mojang, there was no Lytra texture and the Lytra wings were just transparent because of that. So yes, this was accidentally released and a lot of people got it. Even myself got it and I still have it. Next are the skin pack capes. These are capes that are from skin packs and they're most and they're still on bedrock and on the marketplace today and you can still probably pick most of them up. I'm going to be going over these quickly cuz there's a lot of them. So first is the Ender Dragon wing Wings cape from the first birthday skin pack, the Devil's cape from the Halloween mashup, the Dracula's cape from the Halloween mashup as well, Evil Wizards, Bride of Frankenstein's, Grim Reaper, Wicked Witch, Maman's Brigitte, and those are all from the Halloween mashup. Next is the male Spartan's cape, which is from Battles and the Beast, and so is the female Spartan. From the Star Wars prequel skin pack, we have the Padme cape, Palpatine's cape, Count Dooku's cape, General Grievous cape, Boss Nass's cape, Massa Meta's cape, and Poggles, Poggles, Poggers, Poggles the Lesser's cape. From the Star Wars Classic Skin Pack, there is the Lando Calrissian Cape. This cape, in my opinion, is probably one of the best ones. It looks really clean. From the Skyrim mashup, we have the Skyrim Nazar's Cape and the Skyrim Vampire Lord Cape. From the Adventure Time mashup, we only have one, and that is the Huntress Wizard's Cape. From the Battle of the Beast 2 Skin Pack, we have the Myori's Cape. I think that's how you pronounce it, and the Arabian's Cape. And the final two capes are from the Halo mashup pack, which is the Halo Drone Cape, and from the third birthday skin pack is the Jens Cape, which is literally just a ponytail and really only fits with his skin. Now here are the Minecon skin packs, so I think you can still get these with the Bionic method, but realistically, I don't even remember if these were ever out in the marketplace. From what I know, I think they were at one point. I don't have them. I used to have them on Xbox 360, but at the moment, I don't have them. So, the 2015 skin pack contained of the cape from 2011 Java, cape 2012 from Java with the pickaxe, cape 2013 with the piston from Java, and cape 2015 with the iron golem from Java, obviously. And they made another one for 2016, which had all the capes I just listed, all the same ones, the 2011, 2012, 2013, and 2015 cape, but they also added the 2016 cape with the Enderman cape. Now, the temporary capes is a very interesting thing, and I'm probably going to go in a little bit in detail. So, if you don't know, only OGs really know this, you're an OG if you know this, is the first birthday cape that you could obtain on Xbox 360. Now, this cape had a birthday cake on it, and from May 9th to May 13th, 2013, all players of Xbox 360 edition were shown with this cape, except players who are using skins that have their own plate cape. To celebrate the first birthday of Minecraft Xbox edition. 
Oh my god, I just got a phone call. Anyways, a Java edition of this cape does not exist. This cape was not added to the account, so it was only temporary. I actually had this cape, and I thought it was really cool. You can actually obtain it using the bionic method. I know DZ uses it, I'm pretty sure, so that's pretty cool. But I want to discuss... So those are all the capes obtainable in Minecraft Bedrock at the moment, but I want to talk about something. What is the future of capes in Minecraft Bedrock? How are they going to work? So, if you don't know, in Minecon 2021 is actually going to happen. Hopefully by then, Corona is over. So, hopefully. That's happening by from a year when I'm recording this. Right now, it's a 10-27 when I'm recording this. 2020. So, there will be a cape handed out at this event. We don't know what it's going to be or how it's going to be distributed. But all I know is you can get the cape both on Java and Bedrock. Since I'm probably going to go to the event, I'll be able to get this cape probably. But I honestly wouldn't be surprised if someone like Bionic releases the cape on his cape method. Honestly, if someone watching this and they know how to do custom capes, I wouldn't really recommend doing it. It would honestly just devalue the value of the cape. And I really want this cape to be the first actual valuable thing on Minecraft Bedrock. It would really see it be a shame if I see everyone just running around with it. Now... If you don't, now if you haven't heard of the news yet, if you have Minecraft Java, you'll be getting a free cape. Everyone will be getting a free cape. Yes, when I mean everyone, I mean even you. So if you don't know, there's an announcement made where pretty much all Java players has to transfer their, I guess, merging account to a Microsoft account, which the reason why they're doing it is for better security, which in my opinion is understandable. They're finally adding 2FA, which has been needed for a very, very long time. Heck, I think, hopefully, I think if you have a valuable Bedrock account, you should probably set up 2FA. I haven't set up yet, but I probably will. Now, what this means is that, no, you guys were not getting the cape. Only Java Edition players are. But it does said, say down the line that because of this new cape being added, that more capes will possibly add it, be added in the future. So hopefully this means that Bedrock Edition will get some more capes. I really do hope so, because I would really love to see some more capes. Anyways, that's it for this video. There isn't a lot of capes in Bedrock currently. Really, the only two official ones, or the ones that really stand out, are the Founder's Cape and the Pan Cape. I honestly want them to add more. And if the third cape will be a Minecon 2021 cape, I would honestly be disappointed. So hopefully we can see a cape for the Christmas season. Or heck, even the Halloween season. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. I hope you have a great, fabulous, and amazing, safe day. Goodbye.